today. NIP are going to be starting on the CC something. side. Yeah, it could be. And OG on the T side. And they are going to crash up in the A hallways right now. A big fight coming in. MBK with one kill. Blowski <laughs> getting all of the bullets right between the shoulder blades. He's going to be going down. It's a 5 on 3. And a great start for OG. Surely going to get a bomb plant. Surely. I won't curse them like you are, Jason, but it's looking good for this round. <laughs> NBK will get oh, dropped. No. Hampers and not fighting their way back. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Isa oh. getting caught out as well. It's a two-on-one. No, oh. no. Twist with a headshot. Taking down Mantu and Valder in a one versus two. Jason, you keep your mouth shut. It's all about Valder. Trying to see if he could do this. He's got the P250. He's got a chance for it here. Just needs a quick headshot. Then it's game on again, and he's set up for it. He sees it. Misses the chance with a jump. Still a minute left, but he's out in the open and they know it as well a little bit of a distraction some shots being fired i don't know how he could do this he's low on health he's gonna be going down one versus uh, one for zero here is nip pick it up that is so disturbing i can't believe they threw it away jason i'm gonna blame you anyway i, I you must have been thinking <laughs> it you're the one who said it you're the one who said there's no way they can lose this round oh my lord have you ever seen anything like it? Why is the bomb not being planted in all this? There were three players that had to rotate through CT spawn. What, I don't understand what took so long. You had a wall of smokes towards jungle, towards stairs that blocked off connector. You had safe plants at like two or three different locations in that bomb site with four, with four teammates alive. I don't know why OG didn't get that plant. I, I really don't know either. Some of the time, you know, we like to see when you go and fight at CT spawn in, in some of those pistol rounds, but they had a 5 on 3. Probably just get the bomb, bomb plant down and, and put all the pressure on, on NIP. That's. Yeah. It's rough to watch, isn't we, it? We do like that, but we do like we do like the bomb being planted a little bit more. And, and usually that fight is predicated on the bomb being planted. Nox's gonna get blinded. He's in some trouble. Tucked into a corner. Alexi on the other side, and he walks right into the headshot. It's bad to worse for OG. A couple of nice kills, but I mean, with three players left, and I he should be able to handle this. Man two with a smoke, but oh, another Molotov. That's brutal. He did actually run right in <laughs> to just a hail of bullets. That did look funny. Yeah, look at. <laughs> it's not actually funny because you we just you just know that they're so stressed out. They're so so on tilt at this point. Like, I don't know what kind of speech you'd have to give between maps, but if you go from overpass where you were gonna be like really annoyed and tilted, we saw a lot of death slamming, into losing that pistol round, you're just you're tilted off the face of the earth at this point. Well, that's actually something that I do wonder about in this age of online Counter-Strike once again is it might be slightly trickier to turn the mood around because everyone is, you know, further apart and it, like there's a tendency to just be silent if you're on teams because when you're just, you're, you know, things are going badly, you just stop talking. Whereas if you're actually sitting right next to other people that, you know, that there's going to be someone pointing that out and you can look at each other and you could try and crack a joke or something. Like I could see how, how maybe, because when we, when we did the listen in earlier for OG and it was, I think, Rugger doing the, the coach doing the talking there, but it didn't really sound like a happy place at all, did it? No, and it didn't sound like a happy place when we, we listened into Alexi B yesterday on Nuke either. I mean, there's just not a whole lot of happiness uh, going on here in the in the OG side of things. NBK and Valda, NBK with that hero AK-47. He's lost three teammates in this round, and he hasn't fired a bullet yet in that rifle. Saving it all for the headshots. Oh, not at all. Saving it for another round. Fair play. I think he got one bullet off. Maybe two. All right. Well, it's a start. NIP will pick up three rounds to begin this map with. Now, there is a buy coming in from the OG side, but I was um, I was making a case, and I was I was believing it too. I wasn't just uh, coming up with a random story that it was the map that was really to uh, to blame for much of uh, the performance there for OG on on overpass. That means I want to see something really different out of them all. Well, I'll, I'll start to be real upset. Listen, you you might still be right, and we might still see a dominant mirage out of NIP. Like, it doesn't matter how good you are on a map, if emotionally, if mentally, you're, you're just not able to focus on the game. 
That counter smoke on top of a ramp ruins a lot of plans from OG. They've got plenty of utility to back it up once this clears. And there's the pop flash. Hampus dodges it. Him and Rez combine for two quick kills. Twist protects them from Palace. And the round is over before it even begins. Yeah. They wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he got that kill. <laughs> Twist is so far behind. That's that. That was just a random shot. It must have been. Man, two and a one versus four. Yeah, they wanted to to press the issue. I mean, they had it all set up. They had a guy in apartments. The other four were down at the ramp, but they all get blocked off by a smoke. And they're like, we can't wait here forever. We like we we sort of have to either fall all the way back to middle and retake the B hallways, or we go right now. And they they went with the latter part. That didn't really work out. One versus four here, though. And I'm not even sure saving the gun is possible when he's just locked in. No, it's it's not. Uh, and yeah, I mean, even at this point early on, I don't even think saving would be the right call. At this point, still, economic damage is huge, right? If you can get one to two kills, set your teams up for the future success, that would be massive. And there's the Molotov, forces Plopsky out, forces Rez into the open as well, and he wasn't prepared for the close swing. So he goes down. Four to nothing for NIP. And that's a... Man... <laughs> what a stressful way to start this game if you're if you're OG. Pistol round, you have a f <laughs> Okay. Why is why is Threat saying that? Why is <laughs> He's saying But Pistol Round you have a so five good? on three. <laughs> yeah, I know. Pistol round you have a five on three that you lose. Fourth round you come into it with a plan for a set piece at the eight bomb site and you get battered through the smoke. And you, you know, they keep four people alive. They gave over three AK-47s on top of all of that, if, as if it wasn't already bad enough. Now, they're going to try and come through the ramp again. Good defensive smoke. HE comes out. Hampus escaping up the ladder only for a minute, as Iza will take him down. Now it's a bit of a start. Let's see if they get a bomb plant down this time around and try and defend it. They're going to steal that M4. This is interesting. This... NBK will take down Plopsky, and no one there to stop the bomb plant either. I really like this. Flick does nothing, but... Rez is there, and now OG need to calm it down. This is a four and three. They need to get into a bit of an afterplant position here. I like the setup over at the CT spawn side. There's going to be a pop flash around this corner. Rez isn't close enough yet to take advantage of it. Here it comes. There it is. Pop, and MVK's blind. So is Mantu. Find a way to lose it. How is OG going to do it this time? Alexi looking towards Connector. He's not going to get away either. One left. It's Isai, and he falls, and the defuse is coming in hot. Five to nothing for NIP and another retake. Man, they made, a re they made a round out of that, but a quad kill from Rez. Again, the setup with the flashbang. You called it. That was so powerful. Hmm. I wish we could check in with Launders right about now. Wonder, wonder how that's working out for him. I want to check in with OG. Do you though? There's one check in. Uh, yeah, but I'm sadistic in that way. You know, I... just if you just keep quiet for ten seconds, Jason, it'll be like we're you know checking in with Teamspeak on their side. Just. We can just pretend. Oh. Ooh. That's that's helpful. A nice opening kill through the smoke. That's Twist. He's uh he's had enough uh, kills through smokes in this game already so far that it's fair that we give NBK one or two. Yeah, that's the kind of beginning. That's uh, real nice to have. So so much money on the NIP side in spite of the fact that some of the rounds were close. They still have enough to to put together a buy. Hampus is incredibly far up the A ramp. Plopsky, if he doesn't go down, we're just going to get the kill on MBK. In fact, that's even better. But look at where Hampus is. This this is such a round winning move. He can hear these footsteps as well. Yeah. And, and start calling it out to his team. Three players at the B bomb site to defend. That's the bomb going last. Hampus is knife out. He's so sure he's got the right move. And we can tell definitely is indeed. 40 seconds, bit of a missed flashbang there. They ran into it. Valda will get a kill, but it doesn't matter. Rez and Plopsky are down here. Even with the USP, Rez hitting nothing but headshots these days. And Hampus might not even get the just reward. He should at least be getting a kill here. Oh, he wants to go for that. That is cruel. Nice. That is absolutely cruel. He's going to stab him in the back. That, I, that will surely completely destroy OG's um, spirit in this, this map even. That's so disgusting.
It's a game of such slim margins. Alexi B even looking at that flank as he's running back into the tunnels. And if he spots it, he'll realize that NIP know everything. He'll call everyone back and they will attack Hampus going for that flank. They will try and create the exit route so that NIP cannot stack the B bomb site. But he just turns away. It's maybe a quarter second of a difference and it's a slaughter instead. Down the middle, quick controller connector. They gotta be careful about uh, Nork, who's over on the other side. Smoke goes up, but it's not gonna be there in time. It's Rez again, a big double kill. He is, he's absolutely a beast in this best of three. Hammers <laughs> to the smoke. Oh, no. Stop laughing. <laughs> Seven and oh. <laughs> My god. Oh, I feel so bad. Do you? This is so Jason, ridiculous. You know, the fact that you say that is slightly actually... undercut by the fact that you're laughing. <laughs> I can't even help it. I haven't seen anything like this in a while. Kills through smokes, uh, just ridiculous un like advantages gained by OG that are then just taken out of their hands for no reason. I like it's it's not even at the point where I want to criticize anything OG is doing because I think NIP. I mean, obviously Rez is having a very good game. The Hampus flank was brilliant, but even some of these kills through smokes is just so unfortunate that I can't even call it OG's fault. You know, it's, it's like they've hit that flow state right now, NIP, and, and OG's hit whatever the opposite of that is, which, I don't know, when that happens... <laughs> rock bottom, I believe they call it. Yeah, rock bottom. What do you do? Well, double orb is now coming out. As, as if though things weren't already looking a bit rough, this could definitely make it worse. If you could believe it, Rez... Walking up to take the fight versus Isa. He's sort of thinking the right move here, but still going to be tricky. Valda turned around actually to help him out, so important kill. <laughs> well, Plopsky's still ready and waiting. And as soon as he sees action or utility, the player on Catwalk's going to turn around. That'll be Knock with an AWP. And there's even Hampus, who I think, again, is on a flanking mission through the underpass at this moment. So the longer this takes, the more time Hampus has to get behind them. And he might not even get a chance one more time. Nock is going to go down, but Plopsky's got a whole new position. Valda inside the site. He needs to find this kill quick. And Plopsky has no idea. A real yeah. possibility here for OG, but now Ooh. he's waiting for Twist. And I, I think an elbow was spotted. I think a hand yeah. was spotted. I think he saw that as well. Big opportunity otherwise for Valda, but he just, yeah. Just a little glimpse showing, and they're going to be able to isolate him. Mantu was on a long flank, but Hampus is not missing, ma missing many shots either. Now look at that double kill. Eight and O. Oh. Things have somehow got worse from where they were on overpass. How have, uh, have you ever... How, what's your feeling on mercy rules? Do you have mercy rules in uh, Danish sports? Mm, I don't know. What? Explain. Uh, if a if a team is just like uh, is is just so obviously de demolishing another team with with such an insane force, you just call the game. I mean, it usually only happens in like pee wee sports or like really you know you know young children's sports. You don't want to like you know embarrass them with like a twenty to nothing loss. No, we don't have that, and I don't believe in it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for that answer. Oh, here we go again. An advantage. Rez is going to... Oh, it was about a half second away from being incredible. Twist back here. He's the only one that can stop them from winning this round. What a shot. That's actually great. They're still going to lose the round. And the first one on the board for OG. I'll tell you why as well, Jason. I don't I don't think it's a... I think, you know, you learn... I don't necessarily believe in it either. I just wanted to know. I'm just saying, I think you learn the most from losing. So... It's a big opportunity here for OG to, to to fix some things, to discover something about the team. I mean, you hate to, you hate it when it's going on, but Mate. I hate to inform you. I don't know if there's a whole lot that you can learn from this loss if you're OG, or at least these first nine rounds. This has just been kills through smokes, incredible performances from NIP. You're not even really doing anything wrong. You're just getting battered. I'll tell you what you could learn: that losing right. really sucks, and you should start winning. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, 
That is an important lesson to learn. Ooh, <laughs> nice little dink. Better return from NBK. Although a good setup is going to shut this down pretty quick. One is up a ramp, one's up connector. And again, immediate trade from Plopsky. Now it's just Mantu and Valda. But it's Twist who's making the play, and it's a bit much. He's getting too bold. Yeah, way too bold. You can see Valda, he heard the scope there. He knew exactly where he was. Some good trading in this round for OG and... Valda will go down at the end. It's Mantu now in a one versus two. He's very uncomfortable behind this box. Gonna go for a bit of a flick, doesn't quite connect, and now he's in trouble. They've got grenades, a Molotov as well, and they're gonna try and put that over the box, surely. No, they'll do it with the rifle instead, but they could have definitely used uh, actually two Molotovs to get rid of him. Triple kill on Plopsky and a ninth round for NIP. And I think, again, they were actually getting a bit over eager in this round. Probably could have finished it a little bit sooner. Yeah, but it's it's hard to it's hard to restrain yourself when you're having this kind of a game. Like if you're twist, remember he we just saw that webcam where he's like shaking his hand like he's just too hot. They can't handle him. He had like three kills through smokes. Like yeah. that kind of confidence is really difficult to hold back in, in those scenarios when you're just like kind of playing playing by instinct. That's a nice grenade on MBK. Oh, but that's an even better shot on Mantu, catching Plopsky as he was jumping in, and he just keeps running. What a what a bold play this is. I love everything about this. Aggressive play for Mantu, taking control of the kitchen as well. And let's just see. Trying to do that, or the market, I guess. Not going to be able to get that shot, but still, that is that's just a, a one-man play to secure the entire B-bomb side. That's so cool. They needed someone to do it, and I think if you're NIP, you call safe. And I know they've they've rattled off so many in a row, but there's no point in going for this kind of a retake. I know everything's worked your way up to this point, but just back off and preserve the economy. So yeah, Mantu gets the opening pick and the and the play afterwards to seal the second round for OG. But again, that's probably not going to be something you can replicate. But I do like to see the initiative taken. Uh, I'm with you. The initiative taken by the young player on OG. Well, I think especially because actually. In so, in so many ways, that kind of play is much harder to make when the whole team is feeling really deflated. So it's like that, you know, just to bring it back to the point of like, what could you learn? Well, you could, you could use this as an opportunity to try and see if you can make more of these plays because this is when you need them, right? Like you don't need these plays if you were on, on NIP side. NIP don't need someone to do, you know, wild and crazy stuff to, to try and bring them, you know, into the game. That's already all working out just fine. So. I don't know, it's, it's, I think that's where I would try and put in the work if I'm OG right now, is to say this is where we're all feeling really bad and down and, and out, so who's going to be doing it? Like, who wants to step up and, and try and see if we can bring this back and turn it around? Like, while they're just setting this up, even think about this, you know, sort of like throughout, uh, you know, the next 50 games that OG play, you want to be able to look back and say, remember that one time when we were really getting beat up on, you know, in that best of three and we turned it? Like, if you have none of those stories to tell yourself later on, then, you know, no one's going to believe it after a certain point in time. So, I really do think it, it is critical for them to, to find a way to at least make this look a little bit better. Nice opening on Rez, who's been a monster so far. So, great stuff from Valda to take him down. Well, Hampus thinks he's going to have another god tier flank, and I, th I think he's just going to get taken down for free around this corner. He's already pre-aiming, and Alexi was past it. Everyone had rotated off this bomb site as well. So it's just Twist, and he's going to peek up. Has the one, and there's going to be a player in Palace. He hasn't seen yet. That's Isa, but he's got to be more aggressive to keep Nip in this. Around the edge of the smoke, and they just spam it. Takes bullets, fires off a shot. Again, he spots one, but he misses. That could have been an important kill. Plopsky's now arrived. And I don't think OG is going to give up a round like this again. They've already given up about two of them in this game. The spam coming in, and it's actually taken down Issa close to death. Yeah, that was worrying. Now, just a question of whether or not they're going to lose anyone else to Nork here. Maybe even steal away the AWP, which would be good news. I mean, they have money on the NIP side, but not enough to throw away an AWP like that. So, good news for OG 9-3. to This is recoverable. I mean, if, if they win this next round, then NIP are out of money, then they bounce yeah. up to about five rounds, then then we're talking. Yeah, I mean, oddly enough, as, as it even feels weird for me to say it, they, there, is a, there is an opportunity here for OG to just take control of this game. This is, this is the round they need. 
And if you get beat that bad, if you go down, you know, 9 to 1 at a certain point, you're only going to get a single opportunity to really close this gap in a meaningful way. And that opportunity is right now. They have to win this. Smoke in the window. All five players from OG in mid, progressing down Mantu, leading the way. Oh, this is pretty bold, but if he walks up the stairs, he might be in a lot of trouble. Nork is there to get the kill on Valor instead. He's going to relocate right into the crosshair of Man 2. So, excellent trade. That is really important. Rez and Hampus now on the A bomb side. Bit of a crossfire, but one of them could easily get smoked off, and that would be a problem. It's actually not a very well defended bomb side at all right now. And Rez, you could see just a wall of smoke in front of him. Hampus goes down next. And they have a clear path for this bomb plant. Twist is far away on the other side. I don't know if he can stop the plant from where he is. Not even going to get the, get a shot at it. So four versus three. And again, NIP really have to think about that economy. I like this. Oh, there's the op. It's a leg shot. MBK doesn't fall. He goes back for a second. But had to overextend for it. Nisa's able to drop him. Good swing out to make sure that kill is traded. This switch up from OG is about to net them an economic reset. Three out of four rounds so far. Make it five. Rez in a one versus Sue is going to go down. OG have their fourth, and they now have the economic advantage, and now they get to close the gap. This is not looking as dire as it once was. And the switch that they have, they've dumbed down this T side in a massive way, no longer spreading and trying to play a tactical game. They are now just, you know, concentrated, focusing on the trades, and it's working. I mean, it, just given the way that IP have been playing so far, you still you're still worried for OG. But there is an opening here. The, the, they pick the map. I think if they get up to nine and six, NIP have to have to respect that a little bit and really think about it. Alexi holding his own in the middle against Rez, and they're gonna find an empty bomb site. So maybe an AK to be stolen here if they could uh, isolate Alexi B. Although he could maybe escape. Nork is the closest by to maybe try and take him down, but that's not gonna be possible either. Five rounds. That's a shocking turn of events. Okay. It's good to see this out of OG, if, if I'm honest. And, and to be honest with you, this might also be a... Uh, a I mean, this is going to be a classic... It might be a good thing for NIP that they don't just try and coach through this entire second half. Like, that they're getting this kind of wake-up call right now that OG can actually fight back because we saw a number of times their overextensions, their overconfidence has been some mistakes, and they, they bailed themselves out of it for the first nine or ten rounds of this game. But but now, they're they're struggling to do that. He's up with a bit of a swing. Oh, that spray looked like it was going to connect. That's not a bad idea. It doesn't, but then again, he also doesn't take any damage for it, so a little bit of a free engagement. Bomb has dropped far back, and some good mid control for OG. Let's see if they can get that sixth round on the board and start to warm up this game. Again, I really think if you can turn turn this kind of momentum around for NIP, if, you can, if you're OG and you can you can break them a little bit here, that's such a good, uh, it's a good feeling on the team, obviously, and again, something they can use going forward. All right, two defenders here. Plopsky's already been spotted and given away. Nock is going to have to deliver, but nobody is stopping. No one's stemming the tide on Catwalk. They've made progress to the bomb site. About to start pushing in, and Plopsky adds one more. That's the bomb up in the halls. That's real dangerous. Here comes the flank. Alexi jumping through the window. He's going to get tagged, or he's going to get the tag through the wall. And Plopsky somehow still fighting inside the smoke. He goes down. NBK with a double, but Hampus is here. Twist is here. And Mantu can't find the kill into a one-on-one -on -one we go, and it's a missed shot from Twist. Big opportunity here. NBK just needs the one headshot. A miss from Twist could do it. 24 seconds, and the bomb is not even picked up at the moment. Oh, Twist has got the right angle. He's going to get the shot. A tenter look a little bit like OG could really swing back into the game a bit. 10 to 5, I'm not so sure that's quite enough to really get them fired up. But they were looking more alive, and maybe there's a chance once they switch into the second half here on this second map on Mirage. It's... I don't know. What do you think, Jason? Is, is it going to be quite enough five rounds on the T side? 
Uh, well, I mean, this is this is their map pick, so I'd hope that they have a defense that's that's able to capitalize on this kind of a scoreline. Like five isn't any kind of disaster, especially consider you consider when you consider where that first half began. Didn't look didn't look like OG even belonged in the same server as NIP. So the fact they're able to get that five is great. And I mean, look, it's it's not a phenomenal scoreline, but if you cannot come back on your CT side of Mirage from five to ten, I mean, that's 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 an issue, <laughs> to be quite frank. And that's not to say it's definitely going to happen, but this is a doable. Comeback. A doable comeback. Obviously, as a pistol round here would be great news for them. Well, let's see. Just the one P250 on res. A smoke and a flashbang suggesting. I'm guessing a fairly uh, a fairly hard run at it. They've got that smoke. Oh, actually, the smoke's already been put out. So just the flashbang on hampers. Let's see where they're going to go with it. They're going to smoke off on that side. But Valdez got plenty of vision. I'm sure that's going to be everything they wanted. Res goes down. He's uh, an important opening. Knock there with the return. Still a four on four. Ooh, look at this flank towards the B-bomb. So look at Plopsky. He's found Alexi B. And these positions, there's no way you're going to expect Knock to be here. NBK is going to be so frustrated, surely. And there's the timing. He saw the feet. There's the gush. There's the cleanup. Wow. And no one from OG during all this has any idea where NIP's real form of attack. <laughs> this is the most confusing pistol run I've seen in a while. And Nock has played it to perfection. Yeah, there could be some desk slamming going on in, in this round. For sure. I. That was even... Like, you could tell us that was happening. It's like, how has he even got here? There's no way for MBK to know that. They got picked apart completely. Not an encouraging start in any way whatsoever, in fact. No. Well, I mean, remember, looking back to Overpass as well, we felt like their CT side on that map was very discombobulated. So, I mean, this CT side here, another area we'll just have to keep our eyes on and see if there's any indication of miscommunication or lack of communication. I'll tell you, uh, I'll tell you some good news, though. Um, yeah. OG are about to get knocked out, so Londres can't pick them anymore to lose, uh, you know, prediction points. So that's... That's an upside. My, yeah. See, you're starting to get into my neck of the woods, Anders. Finding the finding the silver lining, the positives out of something negative. I know. I've I try. I do try. Eleven to <laughs> five. <laughs> it's just the it's, it's the way in which they, you know, they managed to win some of these rounds as well. You could you could feel the frustration. No desk slamming, but. Head and hands. They're they're way beyond death slamming now. If it's it's like the seven stages of tilt. <laughs> yeah, it does feel that way. Uh, heavy grouping towards the middle for OG. I don't mind that at all. I think it makes sense to try and see if you can, you could maybe find a favorable fight. No flashbang to set up anything. And at this range though, those pistols are not going to be doing that much at all. No, even though they're all clumped up over by the staircase, one in spawn goes down, and it's a it's a slaughter here for for NIP even through the smoke. Ball to the last remaining, it's going to be twelve to five. And I'm, if I'm OG, I guess you kind of have to buy in this in this third round. M4s won't necessarily give you a whole lot of utility. Everyone has the same amount of money, so we'll see how many decide to drop down to the famas. And the answer is none. Yeah, nobody wants to, uh, to to take one for the team. Does leave them with out of the fuse kit and with a very, very limited amount of grenades. They've got five smokes, two flashbangs, and nothing else. Shout out to Alexi B, the in-game leader, picking up the flashes in case the, someone wants to call something dynamic. Turns out those flashbangs could be, could be pretty valuable at the right time. Nice win from Valde. Taking out Hammer's spot. He wanted to smoke it off, and that will get him killed. Well, now you really are going to see the danger of running out of nades on the CT side. Mantu with nothing, NBK with nothing. Issa and Alexi V at the least with smokes and a flash. But NBK at this B bomb site. Once this smoke clears, that's a lot of time that Plopsy's going to be able to have to take duels if he wants them. He's being kept honest by the possibility of someone at the van, but that's only going to last a certain amount of time. And Rez rotating over. Knock all the way at the A bomb site, but they've got all the flashes, smokes, and Molotovs they need at this B bomb site to make this hit happen without Knock's presence. 
Yeah, one good grenade into the speed bomb site, and it's going to be hard for Mantu and, and MBK to hold it back. Flashbang is going to be worth a lot here for the T side. That's, a, I mean, it's a nice peek from Plopsky. He had the right idea, but NBK will win the fight. A little bit of a dig, Mantu going down, and NBK caught looking the wrong way. I think he was expecting a flash or something. I was too. It's going to be a bomb plant out in the open. That's very hard to defuse, and especially now that Nork has shut down Alexi B. So, going to be a 13th round for NIP, and I don't know. They they haven't really got up and running, have they, at all, OG here? No, on on neither maps and neither halves. This is a, uh, it's tough. Thirteen to five. I mean, there's I guess there's two kind of schools of thought to like a round like that, right? And they obviously took the more passive school where they split up and you have two defenders in each bomb site and you kind of just play it pretty standard. But without utility, it feels like you can't. It's it's difficult to make that call to play retake. And you could see the players in the B bomb site shifting their gaze between B halls, between catwalk. If you can at least push up somewhere and have information of what's coming or where it might be coming, you can start to cheat some of the rotations and position yourselves a little bit better. But I, it's still still a long shot. 13 to 5 in the favor of NIP. Yeah, money's not looking good. I don't know. I... There's, there's no energy that's, that's really coming. You just see, like, clips of frustration. Obviously, we can't hear what they're saying, but you just get the sense that this is uh, it's not at all the OG that we do like to see. This round, the... Which I think... Well, go on. I think the desk I think the desk highlighted it pretty well is it's like none of these issues would really be that big of an issue if this was still early on in the lifetime of, of OG but the fact that we've had this team around for a while and, and you know theoretically with all the practice and, and all the boot camping that, that has happened at some point it just feels like they should be a bit further along yeah this kind of collapse is is pretty disturbing Hmm. It'd be interesting to see if we can, uh, if we ever find out what's going on. Maybe on social media. Maybe there'll be some after-game tweets coming our way to uh, to highlight some of the issues. Fourteen to five. There is, I mean, it's hard to even even sort of bring up any story to make up any story right now. NBK's at thirteen kills. And then easier in Alexi B and Valor as well. Mantu a little bit lower, but on the other side, I mean, the lowest fragging player on NIP, well, there's three of them at 14, then it's 15 and 16. So they've got just a an entire squad of people that are all having a very high output. Yeah, and it was, uh, I believe it was like that in the first map. I'll check after this round is over. Rez is going to take control of mid. That's a nice shot from Alexi B with the AWP. Double up set up for the defense. Last ditch effort as NIP is two rounds away from knocking OG out of the event. Yeah, outrageous. Rez sneaking in, but Isa will take him down. That's another good headshot with the M4 this time. And that gives them a much better opening here. Five versus three. This should be textbook to win a round like this. Especially with two ops. You don't even have to do anything. You just sit back into your bomb sites, let Alexi B and Mantu take contact. And you can see Mantu watching towards a ramp. He'll also be able to flick over to Palace. Alexi B is watching the flank at the moment through Murder Hole and Middle. But all of mid is given up, so I think OG is making the, their correct call with their defensive stance at the moment. And we'll see where these three can go. They do have a decent amount of utility. Four flashbangs, two Molotovs, smoke, two HE grenades. The question is always figuring out where to put it and, and where when to deploy it so that you're not giving away the game too early. Yeah, I mean, they're being given this space in the middle, which normally, you know, we're not big fans of when the CT side, you know, doesn't hold it. But when you're in a 5-on-3, it's fine. It should be no issue once again. MBK falling a little bit further back into the B-bomb side. Alexi B is there to help him out. If MBK goes down with no trades and no warning here, that's a problem, though. 16 seconds and a nice crossfire. Grenade to land on top of them as well. That is so much damage, and they're definitely screwed in this round. Twist will go down, and not a single member of OG falls, so... That's a bit better. Alexi Beal as well with the triple. All right. It's a single step in the right direction. It's the first step in the right direction. Yeah.
Well, we'll see what comes of it after. Ooh, that's a very nice shot from Alexei. Not a whole lot of uh, head being shown there. A nice work from Alexei again and NBK at this B bomb site. NBK just hiding and letting the op do all the work. Work smart, not hard, as I like to say. Well, right now they just need to, to do any work at all, whether it's smart work or hard work or just anything. <laughs> just, it, it all counts at this point in time. Valda's gone down right off the bat in this round with no damage even being taken by NIP, so that's an issue. Ooh, big opportunity there for, uh, especially, especially for Twist to maybe get that kill outright. Alexi B escaping back around, but they're gonna go find him, and with a perfect flashbang being set up, that was an easy kill for Rez to get. Now it's a five on three, and OG off the back of a flawless round, starting this one not really in the same fashion, although that's a good return. Isa is quick on the trigger. He's gonna fall right into Hampus waiting with the AK-47. And now, I don't know if NBK could stop the bomb at this range. It's a smoke up, but with a little bit of... Oh, it's so close to working out. So close. Ooh. Yeah, just a little bit high. There's the bomb being planted. And plenty of space and plenty of safety to get into good positions for the post plant. Op is going to have Mantu train down. Twist is going to hold him in place. This flashbang might do some work, but they have to go for this OG. Uh, they, <laughs> yeah. they have to. I don't think but you they can. Won't. <laughs> I, I know it's smarter to, to save the guns in a certain degree, but at this score line, yeah, this is a kind of a concession of the map. Yeah, I. I actually kind of agree. I think th that's the point where you say, come on, like, you'd, if if ever there was a way to, to make a comeback, what's more likely, you know, you, you, you have it a clutch, a, a two on three, you get up to seven rounds, it, it, you know, ignites the team a little bit, or you concede a, a 15th round to NIP and then try and build a nine round comeback. <laughs> that, that sounds more unlikely in my head anyway. Yeah, I'm with you. I don't want to pile too much NOG. Just that's a that's a curious decision uh, as you who just outlined we, to go for the we, save there. Who should we direct our attention to then? Could, could be Launders. Launders, obviously. L yeah. Lol. Launders. Imagine tweeting out in the morning that you want to change your pick to OG. Oh, did he do that? He even had he had NIP to begin with. He changed it to OG. He pulled an Anders. Oh, well, we all know what that's like. <laughs> Never do that. <laughs> No. God, no. Oh, they're, no, they're so screwed. They're not even yeah. defending the A bomb site in this round. They oh my are. god. Hampus is about to be so excited. So happy. Nice little double kill. He's just going to march himself right up in a connector. He's already done his job. It's all good. Now you have to go for this one. Yeah, this time there really is no choice. I. This is a monumental collapse from OG. NIP, no mercy at all, taking them right down. This has been a really impressive couple of maps for NIP. We've got to give them a lot of credit for that as well. It's 16 